Right hello everybody, English Woodsman here, welcome to the channel most of thank you very much for clicking on this video. I hope you can hear me alright because it is windy. I'm uh, doing a hot tent camp tonight. So the best thing I could do is get this hot tent set up, get the tent warm and then I'll bring you back and then we'll uh, just get on with video really. I really will enjoy tonight because as you can see it's been snowing and I don't think I've had a proper snow video on my channel for a long time if not never before but yeah let's get my hot tent set up and it's a new hot tent I've not yet used it yet so best to get on with it really so this is my poor molly stove hut 70 hot tent there's four sets of poles inside you can buy this without the poles but I got it with poles just because it saves me having to take walking sticks around with me or walking hiking poles whatever you like to call them Right, well the tent is all set up. I'm a little bit concerned about the stove being in this part because it's a little bit flapping around. I'm not sure really being in this tent in this wind is the best idea. But so far it's not touching the stove and the wind is due to die down later on and then that's when the temperature drops really bad. But that wind chill, wow, it's minus one right now. Yeah, my fingers are stinging. I know someone's gonna say, grab yourself some, some gloves. I can't do things with gloves on, so we're whinging about cold fingers. It's my own doing. But you know what I am gonna get done? Get this stove lit. I wanna be warmed up. And then I just wanna warm up for a couple of hours and just relax. Main thing is to start getting warm. Cause it's gonna get that a minus three very early. I see it wind blow it camera. Yeah, so we've got to get going. That wind is really strong. Now, I'm not out tonight by myself, 
I've got vegan outdoorman about 10 foot away in his hot tent. I'll show you that in a little bit. You can always pop to his channel. I'll put a link in the description. He's got the Pomoli TP one. Really nice. I do hope to get that very soon. So he's using that and the sort of same stove as mine, but it's like a barrel shape. But if you check his video after mine, you'll see what I mean by all that. Yeah, uh, Scott can't be out. So it's just me and Dan enjoying the wind <laughs> in the snow. What more do we want? So what do you think about this? I brought out a couple of bags of this dry wood. Yeah, you can pick this stuff up from own bag, bargains, $4.99, $5.99 a bag. Perfect size for the stoves. If we're going to go savaging in this weather alone, it'll just it'll take too long. And I don't like to make stuff hard work. I like to make it as easy as I can, so I enjoy the camp. Even some of these bigger YouTubers that use these sort of stoves, they have a little stash of some of these. So if you subscribe to my channel, this is the first time you're seeing this on my channel. It's a little uh, water heater. So what I've got to do is put this side here round the pipe. And then the heat from the pipe boils the water from that direction. And then underneath there, it boils the water as well from the bottom of the stove. And then nice little tap. So we can pour ourselves a hot drink as and when I need one. Or even want one, let's say. So I want to get that on now before it gets too hot. Well, that can't work right. Just enough for a drink, I don't want to wait in hours for it to boil. The problem is I can't have it round the stove because, well the stove pipe itself, because then the tap don't clear the distance. I'll show you what I mean. So if I have it in place, just if I move that out of way. So I put it bang on to where it needs to be. You see that there? The tap is actually over the stove so I'm gonna have to hope I can just push it up to the pipe yeah the pipe round it then when I need the water just pull it out a little bit and then just pour what I need I'm not percent sure how long that's gonna to take to boil either I think someone said on YouTube about half an hour we'll give it a try and I'll let you know Right, so the tent is slowly starting to warm up. This side here, extremely warm, beautiful. Further back the tent, it's a little bit less warmer. I think there's a lot of draft from the underneath part and this airflow part at the bottom here. So, I don't know, you can see it's blowing around. I'm just not sure this is a good tent for windy conditions. 
but we'll make do with it tonight anyway. Maybe, you know, once the fire's a lot warmer, the air might travel through and warm it up properly. That wind is strong, people. Dan's using the TP style tent. That is absolutely brilliant, honestly. Let's get the heat going a bit more. But this is what it's all about, isn't it? Just being out and enjoying yourself. Now, what I'm going to be cooking for tea tonight is going to be two things. First of all, I'm going to cut myself some of these venison grilled steak. Now, I had a venison meat a couple of weeks ago up in Scotland and I wasn't too keen about it but I got these steaks grilled steaks so we'll give these a try and then later on we'll be cooking a beef stew yes we'll be all that in my pan cooking it on the stove and just letting the tent really fill up with the smell of beef stew but for now we're going to crack on with these uh, grilled steaks I'm going to be using for the steaks is this double pan do you, this double pan I'll do it both sides there's a certain name for it but whoa yeah there is a name for this but I can't remember you know this wind is getting very strong <laughs> This was the wrong tent. Ah, oh, what a bad idea bringing this tent out. <laughs> this is bad wind. <laughs> right, let's get this on the grill. Well, stove, let's say. Ah, oh, fingers. Bolt and nuts. Oh, that hurt. Oh. You got foul? Yeah, <laughs> my little pants are slammed down on my fingers. This wind makes horrendous. Right, let's get this on the stove. Eh? Let's make sure that's warm enough there. Eh? Perfect. Stick these grill steaks on. That's not too bad of a noise, is it? Straight away. I wonder what these will taste like. I had the, the venison meat, like I say, a couple of weeks ago, and I really didn't like it. So I hope these do taste a little bit better. Just try to sort out my uh, sleeping setup now, just so I can kneel on something a bit better than the ground. This is self-inflating itself, so I'll just leave that for a couple of minutes. I won't blow the airbed up yet. I'll leave that to one side. At least I can sit and kneel on this, get myself off the cold ground. Because that'll be soaking a lot of my body heat up. And then I've got my uh, OEX 600 down sleeping bag, the EV one. I like this sleeping bag a lot. I'm going to do a video on it very soon. Talk about comfortableness soft touch you know nice it's just a really good sleeping bag after a night it let me know if I can use it in minus two temperatures obviously it's not gonna be minus two inside the tent because you know we've got the stove going but yeah make sure it is good and you'll know what I mean by that oh, it's gonna be nice to get off this cold ground Ah, oh, perfect. 
Very nice. I think this camp is the worst I've ever camped in the wind. The wind batters it from one side, it comes from this side, this side. At the moment it's pretty calm. I think you can tell by the video it seems to blast its way around like now. I don't think I'm going to have the stove going all night. So I just hope this down sleeping bag is as good as I hope it's going to be once that's out the temperature is going to drop and like I said earlier it's going to get that minus three Right, I think it's time we give these a test. I hope they're a lot better than the other venison meat that I tasted. Right, please be better and tastier than the uh, other meat one. These do taste a lot better. I'm gonna have to make sure all the pegs are still in the ground before I go to bed. Right, so my water's boiled. It has taken about a good half an hour. So, uh, it's not the worst time, but it's probably not the best time either. Oops, wasted a little bit there, didn't I? What a privilege to have. Maybe need a little bit more water there. Just to make a hot drink whenever I want one now. 
So there's one thing I am going to have to do is when I'm not wanting this kettle, I'm going to have to take it off. I'll just put it at the side like that. Because the water will just evaporate over time. And I really don't want that. Now this is what I'm looking forward to. So the wind has died down a little bit now and I'm really happy about that. So hopefully now what that'll mean is not a lot of breeze coming through so the hot tank can warm up. Oh yeah really starting to build the heat up in here now wrong choice of tent I think for tonight extremely wrong choice of tent Right, so I've got myself some diced beef. I've got my little double-sided pan. <laughs> I've clearly forgot what you call it, honestly. So I've got that just warming up. So what I want to do, I just want to gently seal the uh, chopped beef. And then once it's gently sealed, put it in a pan of water, stuff all the veg in. We've got some potatoes, carrots, small sweet corn things. Uh, onion, swede, garlic, so we've got quite a lot in there, we'll stick all that in the pan as well, but first of all I need to get this beef a little bit cooked. It's finally come to the stage now where I can take my coat off in here. What I really am glad about it shows that I'm managing to warm it up. What I've had to do is go back out and pin all the corners right down. Because around the cooking part area where your stove jack goes, the uh, once you pulled it right out and did everything, it was still a small gap all the way around. So I've managed to pull that right down. I don't know if that's the problem, but like I said earlier, not that I can't sort it out really. Yeah, it's nice to, this wind's doing my head in. It's nice to uh, take that coat off, that is for sure. Feel a little bit more relaxed now, you know, like at home. Out camping, it's been snowing, minus two to three tonight, windy, and I'm cooking a beef stew. <laughs> How much better does it get? Smash that thumbs up button, people, for me. If you're still watching, I don't know if you've gone already, but if you want, whack that thumbs up button. It'd be nice to see how many I can get on this video. If you're not already yet subscribed, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Plenty of videos like this to come over at winter time in different hot tents. Oh, that bloody wind comes round quick. 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave that bit of footage. In. You know what? Let's get all the uh, veg and stuff and the meat now within the water. Uh, I think it's safe to say my meat's done to where I need it to be. All I need to do is get it in the water with rest of the veg and stuff. So we'll take that off. And then we'll add the veg, the potatoes, onions, garlic, all in there. Right, so I've got these uh, tent slippers, <laughs> I don't know what you call them. You basically take your socks off and just slip them over your feet. Oh yeah. Fashionable am I? Like I said earlier, you know, for you, it's, it's a couple of minutes ago maybe, but for me it's at least half an hour, 40 minutes ago, is when the wind dies down, the tent warms up. As soon as the wind kicks in, the tent cools down. So the temperature in here is up and down all the time. Hey, what do you think? Fancy camping slippers. <laughs> and they're uh, down ones as well. That should help keep the heat in there a bit better. Oh, that's brought the smell out now. Now it's starting to smell like a decent stew. So 
So here's a bit of a laugh for you. My socks were a little bit wet, so I thought, well, you know, I've put my wood here, I'll put my socks over, you know, let them dry. <laughs> I burnt my socks. <laughs> I, don't, I bought double pairs, but I think these ones are alright, so I've got one pair to wear. <laughs> that one's alright. Yeah. I've got one good pair of socks to use. There's a little bit of condensation building up here, so I can use this just to wipe the uh, condensation down. I'm not going to wear them now, am I? I could stay out of that one though. Yeah, yeah well, things happen eh? <laughs> yeah, condensation is going to be with the water boiling, so it's not all bad, you know what I mean? We're going to get that. Yeah, it's bad on that side. It's not too bad though, not too bad. My stew is about another half an hour away. I'm really looking forward to tucking into this now. Oh, yes. Right, so we had about half an hour break from the wind and it seemed to come back with revengeance. And this wall here, I'm getting a lot of condensation from the cooking. The problem is if I open the door to let the air flow, then it drops temperature in here. I'm hoping, now my stew's almost done, that I can just stick loads of wood in the stove and really bring the temperature up in here really well and all that will dry off but yeah I believe my dinner is done I've been going on about this for the last year and a half on the channel this wind series is not our friend tonight it really does not like us There we have it. <laughs> We've been going on about this so long on the channel. Oh. Baby sweet corn there and a bit of onion. I'm going to get myself off for a couple of hours, I'm going to eat my dinner, I'm going to let my phone charge, I'm going to stick a load of wood in that stove, proper heat it up. I really do want this condensation to go. But wow. Smell TV. If you ever had a stew when you were younger, maybe you've had it over the last couple of years, months, weeks, I don't know when you last had a stew. It just tastes absolutely bang on. Could have a bit of bread, but I never thought about that. Mm. I'm going to take this pan off actually now. Right, I'll bring you back in a couple of hours.
Well, it's time I met myself another brew. Look at that. Easy as pie. Over the last two hours, this uh, Irwin, is it? Arwin or something at the storm? Proper battering this tent with wind. I feel I'm quite lucky it's still standing. Yeah. Let's take us right battering. Enjoy the pot tent camping in winter. Eh? Well, good morning, people. I've been awake about half an hour. I don't think we're going home yet. But what I want to do is, I want to empty the stove. And I want to let that cool down in good time. Because it does take about half an hour to cool down properly before I put it away in its bag. Last thing I want to do is put that away when it's red hot. If I can get that sorted now, it'd be a massive help when I do start packing up. I burnt a lot of wood last night, and I'm not surprised really. It's absolutely freezing. Someone's about with a dog in here. Yeah, I need to get this stove sorted. You have to forget that. Right people, that's me done for this video. Wow, it's still minus three this morning. It's really cold. We're all packed up anyway. Everything's in the bag. My empty water bottles in the side of the bag. The stove's all packed away. Dan's packed away. I'll share a link in the description to Dan's video. Wow, what a night. Yeah, we're a bit cold at times, the tent. And lots of air flow through so when it did pick up the wind the cold come through but as soon as the wind died down a lot a lot of heat built up in tent yeah if you like this video and you want to see more you can do this over here by subscribing to my channel check out another video over there and i'll definitely see you next time if you subscribed